Hi, I'm Alice Hedstrom, and I'm the librarian at Almeda Elementary School. Hey, everybody. So I'm going to talk to you today about Kahoot. It's a really great quiz in a game format. It could even just be a game. Um, if you're, well, to create the Kahoot, you need to go to Get Kahoot. And for the students to play Kahoot, they go to Kahoot It. And I have mine on the iPads already there, so the kids already know to go to the Purple K. So it can be downloaded on the iPads, and automatically it's there, and the kids know what to do. So you go to Kahoot, you create an account, and the students don't need one. You do. That's why you go to Get Kahoot. You log in. Um, then you create your quiz. So when you're creating a quiz, you need to be mindful of time. The program allows you to have certain time limits between time or between questions. 10 seconds, 30 seconds, a minute. A minute sounds like a long time, but if you're doing a math quiz and you've put up a computation that you want the students to do and they're computing on their tables, then of course you would need 60 seconds for them to be able to work through the problem. 10 seconds for a true-false question is really all you need. When creating your questions, I use star stems from previous tests so that the question looks like something that they are going to see. When creating my answers, there's always at least one that is a definite throwaway answer, maybe two, that narrows the kids options down to which one they're going to pick. You can add pictures to the Kahoot. Um, and when you're creating your question and your answers, if you backspace too much in your answers, you're going to get a weird HTML format at the end. So be mindful, watch, go through your practice questions and fix any of those little things that the minor errors that do show up. So the students play. There's four colors on their iPad or their device, because it can be put on a phone. Blue, red, green, yellow I think is the other one. And the question comes up. They have four choices. They choose the color, then there's a result. They will tell you who the top person is, who was the fastest, who has the most points, how many students got what question right. And because you stop between each question, you can take the time then to say, okay, nobody got this question right. Where did I go wrong as a creator of the question? Or what did the students fail to understand in the question? Uh, when, you're lo when the students are logging in, be mindful of names. They want to put something smart, elicky up there, uh, Mario. Well, you might actually have a Mario. But uh, Luigi, or they'll pick out character games characters from games, you have the right to delete that out. I make my students put their first name and last initial because at the very end you can download the entire quiz and it will show you how many each student got correct, how many they got wrong, and for the smart aleck kid who likes to always get every single answer wrong on purpose, well now you've got a reason why he didn't get a good grade for that lesson. He didn't do the test correctly, especially since I always throw in trick questions that have a right or wrong answer, and it's a very obvious right or wrong answer. When you're doing Kahoot, don't reinvent the wheel. Gather up your friends. Um, we share amongst ourselves. I've, I've shared Kahoots with Cheryl Hensley. She shared with me. Rowena Verdeen has excellent Kahoots. Um, she's shared some of those with us. Find out our usernames and borrow our cahoots. That is great. Don't reinvent that wheel. You look through the person's cahoot that they have created and you see what questions you don't want, what questions you do want, how do you want that reworded because maybe you presented it in a different way to your students, especially me when I present genres, I do tend to present it a little differently than the other, some other people. Um, you don't have to use your friends. You can go out and search for a Kahoot that's pre-made. Before you do that though, please be mindful and be very aware that you want to search school settings. There is a way up there when you're looking at, it's very self-explanatory, that you can look for school settings because you don't want to go out and get somebody else's 
cahoot and it might not be very proper but you still need to look through those cahoots anyway you're going to bar you're going to download it if it's one that you like download and then go again go through it be mindful of the html format formatting um, be mindful of grammar and punctuation. If we are supposed to be modeling for our students, our cahoots should be also modeled for our students with capital letters, proper punctuation, so forth. Um, make friends, share. We enjoy doing these. It's a great way. You save the test data. I love showing my kids so that they know the next time that they play, they need to behave. And that's really all there is. Um, nope, one more thing. The, They've added a couple of features that I have not used yet. One of the features is a survey. That's great for a pretest. Maybe you're presenting the water cycle in science and you haven't talked to these kids and they haven't seen it in over a year. It doesn't have points. It doesn't have um, a thing of who's first and second. It just says, do you know this answer? That's it. It gives you, the teacher or the librarian, an idea of what it is that they do know and what they don't know. And then you can turn around and still use that. Copy it again and make it the real Kahoot and make it your ending quiz with point values. And that's really all it is. It's a great fun thing. My kids absolutely adore doing Kahoot. When they walk in and they see the iPads, they know we're doing Kahoot. That's it. Thank you. There's your game pen. Remember, first name, last initial. 2835323 First name last initial Jacob M Autumn B Science fiction genre has Technology, weird science laws, machines and maybe robots, all of the above. The realistic genre can. If the story has a time machine, it is automatically a choose something. Science fiction.